Hello? Hello? It's me, Michael. Oh. Hello, Michael. How are you? I'm good. You good? Relatively speaking. Is there an emergency? No. Well, everything's okay. Relatively speaking. I always said it would take hell freezing over for you to call me. So tell me, has hell frozen over? No. Not really. <clears throat> Just tell me what it is, Michael. I've survived two husbands, a gallbladder operation, and a son I haven't heard from in five years until now. Whatever you have to say can't possibly be any worse. Well, I guess how you look at it, it's actually good news. I, uh, I have a kid. A what? A daughter. I have a daughter. When was she born? January 22nd. It's July, Michael. You wait till July to call me? Actually, it was two years ago. Have I done something so bad that you would choose to keep this from me? We weren't talking, remember? Besides, there wasn't really much to tell, you know? You don't think I deserved a phone call? My God, an email would have sufficed. Hey, just thought you'd want to know that you're a grandmother. Annie and I, I don't know. She split with the kid as soon as it was born. There wasn't much to tell. That doesn't surprise me in the least. So she lives with Annie? She did. Until two days ago. What do you mean up until two days ago? She came by and dropped her off. Said she couldn't handle it anymore. I sure can't take care of her. So what do you want me to do, Michael? I'm here. You're in Michigan. I can't be a long-distance babysitter. It's not what I'm asking. Then what are you asking? I don't know. Some advice, maybe? <laughs> Some advice. Uh... OK, sell that bike and get a car, a good one. I know what that bike is worth. I know what it was worth when it was your father's. Yeah, that's not the kind of advice I was looking for. <sighs> What's her name? What? What is my granddaughter's name, Michael? Annabelle. Annabelle Grace. Annabelle. After Grandma? Grace after you. I'd love to meet her. problem with that? His name was Frank. What do you mean, was? He died last year. Stroke. Why didn't you let me know? I didn't think you'd really care, Michael, after the nasty things you said when I married Frank. I know you felt it was too soon after your father died, but that wasn't your decision to make. It was my life. Sorry. So tell me about my granddaughter. When can I see her? <gasps> oh, Annabelle, look. <laughs> she doesn't need this, Mom. Sometimes that's when we want things the most, when we don't need them. You never did know much about women. When is she ever going to wear all this stuff? Babies need this stuff, especially little princesses. <laughs> you know, we're going to need to get her a new crib. What's wrong with the one that's in there now? <gasps> that old thing. That was yours, you know. And it's practically duct taped together. It's fine. Look, 
This is happening way too fast. What do you want from me, Michael? Hmm? When you figure it out, could you let me know? Yes, I need to report a missing child. What did you do that for? Because getting the police involved right now is not the answer. Oh, really? And why is that? What are you going to tell them, Mom? That Annabelle was last seen with her mother? I know that took her across the goddamn country. Annie can say whatever she wants to. We can tell the police that she's a drug addict. That, that she's a threat to the baby. I don't want to do that. Annie is her mother. She'll bring her back when she's done with the program. And you believe that? Yeah, I have to believe that. Fine, Michael. You go on believing that. I can see how far that's gotten you in this lifetime with her. But this isn't about your delusional life with Annie anymore. This is about your daughter! Not much, but... Oh, it's fine. Uh, did you eat, honey? Yeah. I had a little something. I, uh, think we need to get the police involved. I didn't want to go that way, but... I agree. Tomorrow, though, okay? Yeah. Sure. All right. Michael? Yeah. I'm very proud of you. And I'm sorry that I wasn't all, always here. Mom. No, don't spoil it. Just know that I love you more than anything. You're my son. And you're an extraordinary father. I just didn't see it until now. You keep on believing that you'll find her, all right? Don't give up. Okay. I love you. Good night.